everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. Remember guys, if you enjoy our content and you want to help support the channel, the best thing you can do is hit the thumbs up button. Hey, Neva! What you got in your hand? I brought you food. Are you ready for a road trip? I'm ready for a road trip. Road trip! I got a little package that needs returned, and I need to get two new bottles of acetylene. Now, is it safe to have two bottles of acetylene inside of an enclosed van? Probably not, but I'm doing it anyway. So far today has been a really slow day. I downloaded some new computer software, and we know my mind and my tongue are not working together right now. As we all know, whenever we get new computer software, it takes us a while to learn it. So that's been my morning. Are you ready? Did you really grab watermelon? If you're questioning it, then I don't want to hear you ask for one piece of watermelon. We got some unfortunate news. We got to the place where they sell the gas. It says it's open, but the door's locked and nobody's there. No one's answering the phone. So I guess we're coming back tomorrow. Road trip! It's just a little bit annoying because I want to cut up junk out in the grove and I can't do it until I have new gas. Ah! But it's not a complete wasted trip because we still have to deliver a package. And now I'm all alone in this van. Ooh, wow, that is dirty. That needs to be cleaned up. That doesn't sound good. What's going on, DC? I don't know, I hear air leak somewhere, but I can't find out where it's coming from. Watch your ears. It sounds like a tire, but it don't sound like a tire in a way. Me and Neva are out here at the cemetery. We're getting ready to dig a grave, but when we pulled up to unload the equipment, I could hear a bunch of air. At first I thought it was an airbag or something on the trailer, but come to find out it's inside dual so we're gonna load the equipment quick i just called our local tire man he's gonna let us bring in the trailer they'll work on it well me and ava are digging the grave it's a trailer that rarely ever has any troubles with brakes or tires i mean this looks so weird seeing this side all cleaned up it's a good kind of weird though but i can tell you one thing about this spot it's gonna need some serious shipping with the skid loader because it is bumpy all righty oh i suppose we should probably move to another area now how about we start filling this in now i'm gonna guess this hole is gonna take 22 skid loader buckets to fill Got to pull the bean head and the corn head out so I can get hay in here. And usually I put hay over here, but this year I don't know why we put the corn and bean head in here. Usually we put it in a different shed. A couple months here, we'll be out picking corn and beans. Time flies when you're just having fun, huh? If you guys want to do something to, you know, make yourselves feel good and you just feel like you want to give someone a gift. Right here is a battery. It goes in tractors, semis, trucks. Millennial Farmer has a tendency of having dead batteries. So if you want to send them a battery in the mail, go right ahead. Tell them I sent you. the environment off of it to try to preserve the hay. Um, usually when you go to sell hay, when it's inside and doesn't get rained on, it can add 10 bucks or more per bale. So, you know, times that by 60 bales, that's 600 bucks. So if you can keep it inside, it can make you some more money. A lot of people in our area don't have a lot of storage, and I don't either. I can hold about 80 bales, but they put them in bags in the field. They wrap them to keep the moisture and whatever off. To save you guys from a little bit of boringness, I filled in the hole off camera. He filled up my pool! That's not cool, Cole! I have roughly 18 inches that still need to be filled in that, but I'm gonna get some really good black dirt to put on the top. That way my grass will be nice and luscious right there. But wow, that took a lot of dirt. I'm sad. Why'd you do that? I like this hole. It was gonna be my pool and you filled it up with dirt. Now where am I gonna swim? Since we had an unsuccessful trip to town to get new bottles of acetylene, I looked around in the main heated shop. I did find another bottle. I think it's full so we're gonna hook it up and then hopefully we'll be able to start cutting stuff up it's actually kind of chilly out right now how do i do that moment of truth it's full so for the third time we're gonna try this again this old pull behind sprayer has been a pain since i was five years old it's being a pain now it seems like the perfect place to start Ah, what a 
are the chances of that? The battery's dead on the telehandler, and I have my torch sitting in the bucket on the skid loader so that way I can move it around here nice and easily. The only issue is with something like this, I'm gonna need to manipulate it in different ways so I can cut stuff without things falling on me. Not so tough now, are ya? Ah, feels good to get that thing cut up. Now we just got all these trailers, and this stuff, and that stuff, and that stuff, and stuff way back there. It was quite a morning for me and Neva. We got up to the cemetery, that's where I'm still at. When we went to unload our equipment off the trailer, ended up being a inside duel on our semi-trailer. We got hold of our tire man over here and we brought the trailer up there and left it. We came back to dig the graves. We were in kind of a difficult spot. It's a new section of the cemetery. We had to get a hold of a couple of the board members. They came out and looked things over. We kind of ran some stuff through each other's head. We're going to have to rechange some stuff, but that's minor. It's nice when you got a good board working with you. Or I should say working with them because I'm doing the digging and they're the ones that tell me what to do. So now I am going to load up the skid loader in the back. Oh, so we're going to get that loaded up. It was one of the mornings. We've probably been up here five hours. We forgot the good cameras at home. So I'm actually using my cell phone. Anyhow, that's the way things go. Just one of them days. Seems like a pretty good place to stop. We're losing daylight quickly and we just ran out of oxygen. Lucky for us, we do have another bottle of oxygen, but it's also getting dark and I'm getting hungry and kind of tired. So I'm hoping tomorrow we can just dedicate the whole day to running the torch and cutting up this junk. Hi guys, just your friend Cole here with a little update. So there's been a lot of comments about this trailer. A lot of people have been suggesting that I sell it because people like to restore these things. And there's also been a lot of people saying that if you're just gonna cut it up, you might as well just fill it full of scrap, load it up in the trailer and bring it to the scrapyard. Both of those things are great ideas, except A, it's junk, and B, I can't. So first things first, this trailer is completely rusted out. I'm talking like this. Just look at that old Iowa salt. Huh, I bet that would take care. I suppose a little JB Weld would take care of that. So as we can see, the trailer is pretty much toast. And as for bringing this old gal to the scrapyard, the inside of this trailer is lined with wood and the scrapyard is not going to accept that. I guess I do have the option of hopping in there with the crowbar and then cutting the tires off and then chopping the leaf springs with the torch. But if I'm gonna put in that much work, I might as well take the telehandler, rip the sides off, cut the frame and just load it in the dump truck. But now when it comes to this horse trailer, I'm gonna pull this on the trailer, fill it up with as much scrap metal as I can, then bring it to the junkyard, then we'll just take the tires off there. So this one should be pretty easy. I would be for selling this trailer, but the entire front end of this trailer is actually rusted out, so it's time on the road is over. You guys know me well enough to know that if I see any value in something, I'm going to keep it around, and if I don't see value in it, but I see where it could be valuable to others, then I'll sell it. But I'm never gonna sell something that's dangerous. And these trailers are dangerous. Cool. Why are your videos only 10 minutes long? To make a long story short, it's so that everyone can watch it. On a typical day, we record anywhere from four to eight hours of raw footage. Could I make a 30 minute video out of that? Easily. Do I want to? No. With my current editing style, every two and a half minutes takes me an hour to edit. So a 10 minute video takes me four hours. And sitting down to watch a 10 minute video is pretty easy for everybody to do. I mean, everybody has at least 10 minutes that they can spare in their day. So now let's say I don't do quite as much intricate editing and I make a 30 minute video and it takes me 10 hours to edit. Most people don't have 30 minutes just lying around in their day, so they may only watch 10 minutes of it. So I just made an extra 20 minutes worth of video for no reason, because people didn't watch it. And I like making videos how I like to watch them. I like a lot of stuff going on, I like it happening very quickly, and I like just all the exciting parts. Take this for example. See these three buttons on my sleeve? Let's snap them together real quick. One, two, three. So in real time, that took about 30 seconds. At the end of the day, guys, it all comes down to entertainment value. I try to make these videos as entertaining and as educational as I possibly can. I'm constantly trying new things, and I'm constantly trying to improve. Normally, I don't address stuff like this, but a lot of people have been asking lately, There's 
been a lot of misconceptions out there, so I just wanted to clear the air. In my opinion, six 10 minute videos that are highly action packed with a ton of stuff going on really quickly is a lot more entertaining than three 20 minute videos a week or two 30 minute videos. But anyhow, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting for. Best part is it's completely free and it notifies you when I post new videos. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next one.